If you're not aware, fPort is a protocol that allows telemetry and the serial protocol, the control protocol, to work on a single wire. In this video, I'll show you how to flash your receiver and configure rotor flight so you get telemetry via fPort on your radio. Before you flash, you have to make a special cable. And in this case, I have ground on the top slot. I have positive voltage on the second slot. Then we skip one, that's the S bus port, and we move on to the F port or S port slot. And that's where I have my yellow signal wire connected. On the other end of the cable, you have to swap the positive and negative wire. So notice, normally we see the red wire in the middle. In this case, I've got the red wire on one end, signal wire on the other, and ground in the middle. Next, we'll connect our cable to the external port on the TX16S radio, and we're gonna use the bottom three pins, signal on the bottom. So just slide that on there, make sure you don't bend those pins, and once it's firmly seated, we'll be able to turn it over and flash the receiver. The last thing you need to do before flashing is make sure you have a copy of the firmware on your radio. In my case, I'll press the system button, navigate to the file browser, and then click on firmware, and you can see I've got R161 V2 F port FCC in my firmware folder on the SD card. Now using the jog dial, I'll scroll down to that firmware and press the jog dial one time and then hit flash external module. Remember this is connected to the external port on the radio. So we'll click flash. That will light up the receiver and begin the flashing process. Now that we've flashed the F port firmware on the receiver, we need to bind the receiver to the radio. And we can do that while it's still attached to the external port. I'll show you how. We'll do that by backing out of the file manager, press the return button, then press the model button, and then click on external RF. Before we turn the receiver on, press the bind button on the receiver, and then change the mode from off to XJT. That will give power to the receiver and put it in bind mode. The next thing we'll do is press the return key, click on external RF and under mode, put it on multi. And then for protocol, we're gonna select free sky X2 and you want D16, then just come down to the bind button and press that and then choose one through eight telemetry on and you should see it start flashing. Once it starts flashing, that's a pretty good indicator that you've got a bind. We'll let the radio finish this process there it is, and now we'll back out, and then we'll press external RF again, and we'll turn it off and back on really quick. Just turn it off, and then back on. We're just gonna give it power so we can bind. And there we go, we've got telemetry. So when I hit return, and then hit the telemetry icon on the top bar, we can hit discover new, and we should see a bunch of sensors come in. Okay, now we've bound the receiver to the radio. The next thing we need to do is switch our wiring back to the standard positions. Don't forget to do this, because if you do, you're gonna blow up your receiver. So I'm gonna remove my red wire, and then I'll remove my ground wire. And the ground wire goes on an outside pin, just like that. And then the red wire goes in the center, just like that. Again, don't forget to do this because if you do and you connect it to a power source, it's gonna blow the receiver. Make sure you switch it. Get your Nexus out and apply power. I've got five volts connected to the ESC port. And then the next thing I'll do is connect my receiver to the S bus port right here on the bottom pin. And when I do that, I should get a green bind pretty quickly. There it is. I've got telemetry recovered on the radio. Then connect the Nexus to your computer using USB-C cable and fire up the rotor flight configurator. We've only got a couple of things to take care of in rotor flight. The first thing we'll do is click on the configuration tab and then under serial ports for S bus, we want to enable serial RX. On the receiver tab, you'll want to use this receiver type dropdown and select free sky F port and then select inverted serial signaling and one wire communications half duplex. Turn those both on and then finally make sure you have enabled telemetry turned on and pick whatever sensors work for you. The next thing we'll do is click on the CLI tab and we're gonna enter the following commands. Resource serial underscore TX two A03. And then resource serial underscore RX two none. And after you've entered those two commands, just type the word save and hit return. And then we'll bring the radio in and check our work. On the receiver tab, I'll move my sticks around to make sure I see motion in rotor flight. And then the last thing we'll do on the radio itself is click on model and then click on the telemetry sensors tab and we'll click discover new. 
and that should bring in a whole host of new sensors from rotor flight notice we've got v-speed rpm temp one temp two fuel and so on that's all i've got for today take it easy and go fly something